Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, basically I'm going to be doing something that I've actually not done in a long time, and it is a cooking video. But this time I'm going to be a little bit more serious about it. This time it's going to be a lot different. It's not just going to be a sandwich. It's actually going to be a sample of dish that you might want to make. It does take a little bit of time, but I think it worked pretty nicely. Basically, what we're doing today is we're making a cucumber soft boiled egg with ham and crackers to hold it all together, basically. Um, it might sound bad, but I've had it soft boiled egg yesterday. I made some just to make sure I actually knew how to make them. That's something that in case you guys wanted to make, now you guys will know how if you watch the rest of this video. It's probably going to be a long video, so anyways, without further ado, I'd say we just get right in. I haven't had any breakfast and it's like, um, 9.30, so yeah, it's kind of like a brunch in a way for me. Anyways, let's get right to it. Basically all you're going to need for this is a cucumber, some crackers, some beef of your choice or meat, whatever, and some eggs. And all you got to do from there is get a knife for the cucumber and you might want to add toothpicks as well because that'll hold it all together. For right now all we're going to do is we're going to set the crackers off to the side and we're going to cut up the cucumber. I don't feel like peeling it because peeling it for me, it just takes an excessively long amount of time. And trust me, you're not going to be using all of these cucumbers. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to pick the best cucumber that you have cut. None of these are it. I'd say the best ones would be you want four of them. So get decently big ones, but they also need to be kind of thick. So it doesn't just fall apart when you try and hold it. And then basically then there you have a bunch of cucumber slices. You can do whatever you want with them. I don't really have anything for that today. And I'm not just going to save cucumber slices, so I'll probably just get ranch or something with it. Anyways, now that you got the cucumber sliced up, we're going to get the meat up last, actually. And we're going to have these eggs. We're going to do two eggs. And we're going to make sure you get a pot, a decently big pot. Set the eggs right in front. And then I have a um, pot down here. I should at least. When I say decently big, I basically mean it has to be kind of deep. It shouldn't be um, really like thin, like um, it should be kind of thicker, not exactly wide and not really like, you don't want a pan that's meant for like sauces and stuff or like things like that. You don't want a ginormous one that's not really tall. You just want one that's kind of this size because you're only going to do two eggs or if you're going to do like five of them, get a bigger pot, things like that. Once you have your pot all filled up with water, you basically want to set your dial all the way up to eight. It'll make it go to a boiling point faster and a much easier pace. You don't want it to be at six because then it's never going to reach boiling point. And if you do it a lot slower, which is what I did yesterday, it was an accident because I tried to make a soft boiled egg. And what happened was it kind of, um, kind of broke as soon as I cut it, <laughs> kind of cut the outside. It just kind of spewed open, but it wasn't a bad egg though. Um, all you want to do is get the water, let it boil, and in the meantime, we're going to be doing something else. With all these cucumbers, you can also do like salads and stuff with it, things like that. And we have the two eggs. You do not want to set them in it until it is boil until it is boiling. Today we just have German bologna um, because I don't know. There's all the rest of them is just cut meat, which really I didn't want cut meat. There was one that's just my dad's stuff, so I'm not going to use it. But um. All you want to do is assemble the crackers like this and then put your cucumber slices onto them like this. The cucumber and the um, cracker 
would serve as something nice and then you should be able to poke a hole right through it well it's a little bit harder to crack it through but there you go and then you just put the meat on and things like that um we'll cut out the meat off camera probably but yeah i mean that's basically it right now and in the next video we might do jalapenos which is what we got from our garden and maybe something with zucchini i don't know but we're actually gonna do something with the rest of these cucumbers give me one moment right now we need some watermelon so okay there's the watermelon so hold on a second save the fridge anyways we got our watermelon and what we can do with watermelons and cucumbers now that might sound like a bad mix but trust me it's actually way better than you think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our eggs in here in a couple couple minutes actually because it's almost done boiling um and then what i said about the cucumbers we'll do that actually at the end of the video when we get done with everything and we'll try it then i'll show you the little thing that you do you do need a blender for this so make sure you have that just to clarify you need a blender which i don't know if i'm going to be using this one because we do have a couple other ones but using that one you need lime juice or normal lime you can squeeze into it watermelon and cucumbers i think you guys already know where this is going but yeah we'll just see where from there once it comes to about this consistency you can drop it in or you can leave it go a little bit longer last time i actually put it in way too early and it was not even close to this but as you can see bubbles are starting to rise and stuff so you can just plop them in there Oof. Actually, we'll get a spoon for this. Hold on. <laughs> I, I don't feel like risking breaking my eggs, so. What I'm going to do is get a nice little spoon. All you want to do, put it on a spoon, and then you can dip them in there nice and gently. Yesterday, I only made one, but today we're going to make two just because... I'm a little bit more hungry and actually this is going to be kind of nice. I made them last night so don't expect me to do too many things. But first we got to set a timer for 6 minutes and 9 seconds exactly. And trust me guys, if you watch this other guy, I can't remember his name, but if you watch him, he always says to do it for 6 minutes and 9 seconds. That works perfectly if you want nice soft boiled eggs that aren't going to pop as soon as you hit them. But they are a little bit jiggly, but if you do poke into them, then they will. See, this, I still have the same issue to where I have too much water and it's gonna boil over a ton. And I'll be careful with that because of what I did, but you wanna make sure you have a giant pot most of the times, so, or this would be fine, it's just I put a little bit too much water into it, but it's not gonna boil over too much, just a little bit on the sides, but it should be all right from there. Once you have that sitting for about three minutes, it's time to get your ice bowl, your ice bath, I mean. <laughs> Basically what you wanna do is get ice from wherever, usually I'll just get it from my fridge, which it's a lot cleaner that way and you just put it into a thing of water about 1000 milliliters to 1250 milliliters and i don't really know how many grams or whatever is and i'm not that exact kind of person but you basically just want to put a ton of ice i'm going to put some more in there and then you have the eggs that are still boiling which i did have to dump a little bit of water out because it got on the towel and stuff and i don't want it to be super hot yeah <laughs> it's uh just sizzling a little bit but basically get the ice bath and once the timer goes off for the eggs, we can take them, put them in that, and it will deep freeze them or cool them really fast. So it'll be really easy to hold on to them then. Pretty sure they do that just to make sure that you can just get them immediately. Instead of letting them cook longer, basically, because it will be really hot. So it just got done with the six minute, nine second timer. Basically what you want to do is try and grab, hold on, I got to hold the, I don't hold the camera a different way. Hold your eggs with the spoon. Try and get them nicely without trying to get them broken. And yes, they are steaming, of course. Now, place them inside the ice bath. They're going to be a lot of steam for a little bit. Oh boy, this one's actually cracking. Oh, that's not very good. It's, um, it's cracking already. I don't know why. But we're just going to leave that inside of the ice bath and hope it doesn't crack. I guess we might have let it in there too fast and it cracked, but I don't think it's going to ruin it too much. I mean, it's still probably got boiled on the inside, so... Make sure you want to turn your heat off and then dump the water out. Let these sit in here until you can work with them, which I'm pretty sure we can already, but we're just going to let them sit in there a little bit longer. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so basically I have the egg and it's a little bad, just a little bit. I can already feel that the softness is inside. This one's a little bit harder. 
I was just hoping it didn't turn out too. Um, we're gonna cut into him with this knife, and I'm hoping it doesn't pop immediately. You know, it could go everywhere, so I'm actually gonna do it on the plate. So some of them are gonna have some egg stuff on the bottom, which is fine. I don't really care about that, but yeah. <laughs> So you guys can't see very well, I'm actually going to sit down for this one. Um, oh yeah, and I have a mic on by the way, so hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. Uh, this is the egg. We're going to cut into it, hopefully to where it's not going to completely cut out the yolk. Oh, I see it. I think that's perfect. That's perfect, isn't it? Oh, we nailed it. Beautiful, because watch this, the poke. It's nice. It's not super runny. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, would you look at that? We completely nailed this. It's a little bit um, thicker on the top because we did it. Let it. We did let it sit a little bit longer because we had it recording, so we couldn't really set a timer. But I love it. We nailed this. This is. This is nice. We nailed this one. This is like the soft. This is like the seven minute kind of in a way it's a little bit uh, overcooked but we're gonna cut through it and we're gonna hope that it's pretty good oh yeah it's nice and gooey it's not terribly like super runny and it's also not extremely hard so without further ado we're gonna poke all of it together hopefully the crackers on the bottom still it's not okay uh there we go look at this this is an absolute monument of something just take a look at it so you got the cracker on the bottom, you've got the cucumber, then you've got some bologna or ham, whatever meat of your choice, and then the egg. Oh boy, time to take the toothpick out. That's usually to hold just the egg there, but you could use it to hold anything really. Oh yeah, <laughs> yogi boy. Three, two, one. You know what, surprisingly, it's way better for what I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to turn out terrible, but... Actually, really good. I thought that was gonna taste bad, but like not terribly bad because I've already had a cucumber. But the thing is, these are all stale cucumbers, <laughs> not cucumbers, these are stale crackers, and um, not the best to use a stale cracker for this. I mean. <laughs> You can, but I we didn't I didn't find any other crackers at the moment because I just wanted to make this late notice because I had them yesterday. I was like, oh, I can make these. I can make something with them. Um, this is kind of my brunch, so I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna eat it. I'm gonna describe it not as I'm eating because there's a lot to hold in, but yeah, yeah, it's actually really good for what I thought it was gonna be. This egg I'm a little bit more worried about because it does feel a little bit more runny. I'm pretty sure we took this one out first. But that other one was actually cracked when we had it in the boiled egg, so I'm pretty sure that's why it boiled a little bit faster, because it was cracked. Oh boy, I think this is a runny one. I mean, it's runny doesn't mean it's bad, it's just... Oh boy, oh boy! That cracked open fast. Okay. I'm gonna try and cut this. This. Oh, oh, that's actually not terrible. Okay. There's a lot to hold here. Um, it's a little bit runny, a little bit solid. Not bad. I actually like this one. I didn't think it was going to turn out that good. Cut it in half. Ish. It, it's falling apart, though. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else to say. It's falling apart. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I can't get the yolk. There we go. I had to get the yolk back in the other egg so I can put it on there. It's like a huge mess in front of me, but the plate is kind of covering it. If I just kind of lower it, you guys can kind of see in a way. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a mess on the plate, and I have the cutting board over on um, over there. Basically, how this is described as eating a sunny side up egg or an easy or easy, over easy egg with just a bit of saltiness. Oh, we forgot to season our eggs. Um not gonna lie really good um now we have our seasonings jeez i forgot the ice bath right by me we'll put some salt on the eggs a little bit of salt just a little bit all over it this is big morton coarse kosher salt and then some pepper 
Never go wrong with pepper. That's gonna go on everything. Pepper is way better than salt because salt actually has that flavor. Pepper just kind of gives it an essence, which I do like. It just, it's not like a full flavor, you know? We're gonna have to try these separately because this egg, it blew up. All right, so the egg, I didn't know how good this egg was going to be. And then the, the thing. Here's the biggest question. Would I eat this at like a restaurant? Probably not. Just because it's not like... It's really messy. And the only way they'd do that probably would with hard-boiled eggs. Um, because this is just a big mess. And it gets all over your plate. And so... I'm assuming your appetite. This would be an appetizer. I would honestly serve this at my. If I had a restaurant, I'd serve this at my restaurant. Um, just because I actually like this. It's not bad. Like I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's not like restaurant quality. It's just a little home appetizer, you know. Very easy to make and just a long, long bit of step. But it's not even that hard. It's just make soft boiled eggs and put a bunch of stuff together. Yeah, this is going to be one of my longest videos. Considering the fact that the egg was the one that took the longest from, like, normal time, I did other things during it, so. A little bit too much salt I put on it. <laughs> the meat already had salt on it, so. It was just kind of a salt overload, but that was on me, so. There you go, guys. You have your home recipe. Oh, I almost forgot about the other dish. I gotta see if I can even use them on there. But... Um, we're going to do the watermelon with cucumber and lime juice, and we're going to try and make a smoothie out of that. That is exactly what we're trying to make. Um, and I have tons of cucumbers back there, so I just, this is fresh out of the garden. Literally, I just got this one today. So, yeah. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and make the smoothie. Okay, so, um, as you notice, I have a different shirt on. It is the next day. Basically, yesterday I was trying to make another, I was trying to make the smoothie that I was talking about. We're going to make it today. Probably going to make it twice a day, actually. Um, I had to cut up a whole other cucumber, use this watermelon. We are running a lot. We're running really low on watermelon, so I got to be careful how much I use. It's a small blender. I'm using a different blender today. Basically, my stepmom came home, and I was asking her if I can use that blender. Then she called me, and it's like, oh, okay. So then I just have to wait. For her to get home, she showed me how to use it, but she's still, you know, just, stepmom just, oh well. We're just going to make it in a different blender today. We made it in the green one, and now we're going to make it in a different one, so, yeah. Okay, so what you want to do, add all your cucumbers that you got. I didn't get that many. Um, we're going to leave a couple. Actually, never mind, we're going to leave any. <laughs> and then, take your watermelon. Now... Trust me, I wash my hands. We're fine. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to use some of this watermelon to make an aqua fresca is what it's called. And boy, is that filling up. We're not going to make too much because I'm going to just chop one. And then get, I don't, we, I don't have any more limes actually. So I'm pretty sure it's just lime juice and you can just use some of this. We're not going to use too much, but use a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then we gotta get the lid, put it on there, set it to. Once you're done blending, it should have came out something like this. You might need a pusher or something, anything like that. Just get yourself a cup and pour it in. Now it is very runny, so you wouldn't have to use any other things to make it a different way. Um, you could strain it, like, see, there's some things in it still, but you could strain it and get all the pulp out of, like, the watermelon and cucumber, get all the seeds, maybe some sour things, things like that, but I think it's just way to find the way that is. It takes a longer time to pulp, and it's a lot thicker if you do it that way. I mean, it's a lot thinner, so it's basically water, just flavored water, but, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Um... You guys probably want to see how I feel about actually tasting this thing. I actually had it yesterday. I was talking about having it and stuff, and we just had it, supposedly, I guess. So, I mean, I guess I'll have it again. 
that's really good like it's refreshing it's sweet it's like just really good you taste a tiny bit of lime if you put enough in there what I would recommend though is using actual limes and like using a juicer or squeeze them inside of it instead of using other stuff because it's more concentrated and it is less flavorful of the like the sour and tart flavor of that which it does change this a little bit more i'm probably gonna have to blend this a little bit more it's a little bit thicker than i thought i did let it blend for only like 20 seconds so <laughs> it's not that much um but overall i do like this stuff but with that it's gonna be closing out the video Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Go ahead and check out my last video that I posted, the live stream that I did. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.